Cleveland, Ohio, the finish lines have been crossed, but the 2018 Rite Aid Cleveland Marathon might not be officially over for another couple days. Determination of the men's 26.2-mile marathon winner hinges on a ruling. That question, though, doesn't diminish the 41st running of the marathon, which included approximately 15,000 competitors in a variety of running, and some walking, competitions over the weekend. Daniel Mesfun of Eritrea came in as the unofficial winner of the men's marathon on Sunday. Westlake Sarah Horrible finished first in the women's race. Ken Sullivan, a street. Ignatius alum who now teaches and coaches at the Cleveland High School, and Jennifer Bigham of Pittsburgh won the half marathons. Kenya's Lanius Kip Laggett and Josephine Wanjiku won the men's and women's 10K races, respectively. Cleveland Marathon Race Results Cleveland Marathon, why we run mess funds victory will not become official until officials review the race. There is no dispute that he began the race and ran it in its entirety. Afterwards in the media area, however, his finish was challenged by other top finishers. Second place runner Philippe Turret, who led for much of the race, claimed that since Mesfun's bib wasn't visible until late in the race, he didn't know if Mesfun was in the marathon or half marathon. Mesfun, 30, wore a shirt over the bib that identifies which race a runner is competing in. He said he had cramps in his midsection and wore the shirt for some warmth in the chilly morning rain, until he took it off with about 200 yards to go and after he had passed her on the Detroit Superior Bridge. A few runners are contending Mesfun's bib was not visible through the duration of the race, which they claim caused some confusion on the course, executive race director Jack Staff said. We will make a determination and certify the results within a few days after we complete a thorough review, staff said race officials will consult on a rules interpretation from USA Track and Field. Mesfun finished in 2 hours, 16 minutes and 33 seconds. Tura 2 hours 16 minutes and 55 seconds, and Abraham Chelonga 2 hours 19 minutes and 17 seconds, both of Kenya, placed 2nd and 3rd, respectively. Marathon races begin outside Quicken Loans Arena, wind through the city, and, in the full marathon, into Lakewood and Rocky River, before finishing at Public Square. Mezfun came to the United States about a year ago and lives in Flagstaff, Arizona. He said he not only had cramps but also a sore hamstring. I tried to overcome the pain of the hamstring, he said. After the first half, I tried to push it. I picked up the pace. I'm so proud. The people are the heart of the race. I say, thank you, to them. They were a motivation, Horrible, 31, completed her race in 2 hours, 51 minutes and 41 seconds, Anna Belorus, 2 hours, 57 minutes and 30 seconds, of Holidaysburg, Pa. was second and Kenya's Gladys Shiboy, 2 hours 58 minutes and 25 seconds, came in third. It helps to have family and friends here, said Horrible, a 5th grade science teacher at Heritage Elementary in Avon. Some of my friends, at about 22 miles, had some signs that made me laugh. They were funny and motivational, Horrible, who ran at Magnificat High School, was third in last year's marathon. I was third, on Sunday, until I got to Lakewood on my way to Rocky River, then was second until about the 19th mile, and led the rest of the way, Horrible explained. I think it helps that this is my hometown. I've run these streets many times and am familiar with them. I've been running since third grade. It's always come natural to me. I don't have to think. 
Even after an exhausting day at school, I put on my running shoes and go running. Prize money is awarded to the top three finishers in the men's and women's marathon and to the first place masters runners, and, to the top five finishers in the men's and women's 10k races, and to the first place masters runners in Ohio wins. The largest prize of $3,000 each goes to the men's and women's marathon winners. Sullivan, 30 Grand Track and Cross Country at Street. Ignatius High School and at Duke University. He is an assistant coach in both sports at St. Ignatius. Sullivan, who also won the half marathon a year ago, completed the 13.1 mile race in 1 hour, 12 minutes and 53 seconds. Massillon's Seth Curzon, 1 hour 15 minutes and 35 seconds, was second in Wooster's Jeffrey Wenning, 1 minute 16 seconds and 8 milliseconds, was third. It was a little wet, a little humid, but definitely better than the heat last year, said Sullivan, who finished 45th and was the top Ohio in at April's Boston Marathon. I felt like I was in the lead most of the way. I think recovering from the Boston Marathon was my biggest concern. And a lot of training since then, just wanting my body to recover, Sullivan likes the course. It's a nice tour of Cleveland, he said. You get the flats, Tremont, Gordon Square, the Shoreway. It's a challenging course, hilly. A good course, a good race, Bygum, 36, won the women's race in 1 hour 21 minutes and 25 seconds. She competed in cross country and track at Holgate High School, about 40 miles from Toledo, and at Ohio State. Rocky Rivers' Diane Fisher, 1 hour 23 minutes and 48 seconds, came in second and Laura Callan, 1 hour 24 minutes and 27 seconds, of Columbus was third. At 9 or 10 miles I passed her, Bygham said of a competitor with whom she alternated the lead multiple times. At 11, I think I led by maybe a minute. Then, I never felt anyone around me, Kip Laggett, 24, and Wanjiku, 25, arrived in the United States for the first time on Wednesday, in Lansing, Michigan, and got to Cleveland on Friday. They will be in the U.S. for the next three months. Kip Laggett finished in 29 minutes and 4.87 seconds. Started quickly and separated himself from the field after the first 2K. It's my second road race, Kip Laggett said. It was a nice race. I felt confident. It was cold, though. This is my first time here. There are nice people here, friendly, Isaac McCundy, 29 minutes 23 seconds and 51 milliseconds, and Dominic Poirier, 29 minutes 25 seconds and 53 milliseconds, both also from Kenya, finished second and third, respectively. Wanjiku led wire to wire, finishing in 36 to 22, ahead of runner-up Jessica Odorki, 36 to 37, of Perry in Lake County and Melly Watke, 37, 06, of New Bremen, Ohio. I had an advantage because I was prepared for the hills, Wanjiku said. I'm happy, because it's a win, here for the first time in America. It's a big achievement. I expect more wins.